for sunlight before screen light but then like you know fucking screen usage got to me it's for the first hour of my day on my phone and then my wrist fucking like every time i twist it ah it hurts bro boxing injuries are an old joke here Anyway, today in this video, we're going to be talking about three emotions you want to invoke in people if you want to be successful on YouTube. This wouldn't lead to a long-term success model. I mean, potentially it can if you change the rhetoric and your the rhetoric and your opinion and um, the overall approach of your message. But yeah, in the beginning, it's it's very powerful for you to order like in order for you to grow. Um, it isn't the best way though. Let me explain. Three emotions are hatred, jealousy, and cringe. If you can invoke all three, you can build a silent audience very, very fast. The problem is, okay, now you build a silent audience, they don't like you at all. What are you trying to sell? If you're trying to sell something, it's impossible like a product or service, it's impossible. If you're trying to sell a fight, for example, Logan Paul, the Dallas, etc. etc. Not very possible. I mean spice apple and pear chutney taste amazing. Model well with rhyme. Bit running, bit skipping. Little chill moment. Say that Andrew Tate did it. I could say, you know, plenty of individuals that are popular today have done it. But right after they rebranded and changed, and they become likable again. Yeah. The reason why people want to invoke these emotions is because I think you guys know this people are more willing to go the extra mile if they hate you, if they're jealous of you. They find cringe. Like Henry Cejudo in UFC. People want to watch his fights. Why? He's so fucking cringe. But he's also an incredibly elite striker, elite grappler, elite wrestler. So yeah, it's just um, it's the way they complement each other. It's insane business, bro. Be constantly loved by the people. It's enough. I love this and pay bills. When you don't hate paying bills. Um, if people fucking like hate you, they despise you. You can be talked about for weeks, months, even years until you before you're forgotten. But people love you. I need a few days. Lots of fucking attention. Pay attention is what's valuable in the economy, right? What the Jesus? Want to do it myself? Probably not. I don't want to do the cringe part and the jealousy. I don't want to do the hatred. But then again, there will always be someone that's going to hate you for whatever you do on the internet. Like even if you were helping children, starving children in Africa, and you're just simply recording it, people will always hate you. Like, oh, you don't do it for the camera, you only do it for the thing. There will always be an, an arbitrary reason as to why someone is motivated to just dislike you as the world. There's 8 billion, there's 8 billion, 8 billion, 8 billion people on this planet, bro. Like, to expect that you're going to be liked by everyone is asinine. It's stupidity. It's not, not necessarily repressive, I was going to say repressive ideology. Um, no, regressive ideology, that's what I was going to say. It's regressive ideology, it's to move backwards if you think you're going to be loved by everyone and, you know, be respected by everyone. Well, if not, it's really the case. You know, Mike Tyson, a legendary champion. Floyd Mayweather, legendary champion. People always talk shit. He's never been undisputed. He's never been this. Oh, but look, look at this guy's record. Look at this guy's record. Look at this guy's record. Manny Pacquiao. There'll always be something, you know. So you guys have to realize that no matter how great you are, there'll always be someone to talk shit. Always gonna be someone gonna be jealous of you, hateful of you, gonna find you cringe. Uh, you know, Luke Belmont, he talks about you know eating, eat right, sleep right, and you know get work done. And then I remember 
in like a, a short video, he's talked about that shit, and then everyone in the comments was like, oh, these guys fucking cringe, uh, this is why every white guy should never have a podcast, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's what's happening, bro, that's how you get successful in, in, a, in a weird way, because the small majority of people, they might know, a small minority of people that truly fuck with you, that truly like your message, they'll, they'll like you after that, like, you know, people that are... How do, say, how do I say this? Conscientious. They'll like you, and then subsequently after they'll buy from you and they'll support you. Um, Jesus Christ, I look puffy as fuck. I've not been working out the past few days. So yeah, I just want to share that little tidbit of information. I hope it's helpful for you. Catch you in the next video. Ho oh, ho. W transition.